You can use software such as ImageJ to analyze those patterns. And then you can create a library for each individual salamander. When you get a new salamander, you run that image through your library and an algorithm does a comparison between your library and this new salamander and it can tell you if it's actually a new salamander you haven't seen before or if it's indeed one in your library. It's very, very useful for mark recapture and it allows us to stop doing terrible things like clipping toes like we used to do in the olden days. I did that. <laughs> I, Dr. Payton did that and I did that, but that's what we, we did. We don't do it anymore. We don't do it anymore. Yep. Any other questions, Dr. Payton? Not for now. That was an amazing presentation. <laughs> I recommend, Dr. Payton, that you go home and drink a little bit more coffee this I know. morning because you're not as quick as you usually are. I'm never quick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Payton. Have a great day, and it was so nice to see you. It was great to see you, Dr. Carriker. Bye.